edition of Video Drum by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be following up the 3D printing build of this uh, SEMA X8C GoPro mount. So, one of the things that we did take a look at here is this mount's designed to uh, attach to the typical uh, loose cider plastic case that comes with a GoPro or GoPro knockoff. However, this case is rather heavy and so it uh, provides quite the challenge for the uh, X8 to lift. So instead of doing that, I set off to find a, a lighter version. And what I've come up with is actually this build here. And this is a, a wireframe case, a two-sided wireframe case, and you can see the openings. Now, the nice part about this is if we look at this, we have openings on each side. So each side are op open so you can reach the buttons and, and controls. Uh, also, the top and bottom have matching open ports, so you could flip the camera upside down if you needed. So this provides a nice combination, if you will. Also, I happen to have this exact version of the camera. It's the same size as a standard GoPro Hero. And uh, I've actually got several of these, and these can be picked up off of Amazon pretty cheaply. Uh, I've gotten several, um, even under $30 on Amazon. So not the greatest cameras in the world, but for 30 bucks, if you're going to lose it on a drone, it's probably a good combination. So what I've already done is I've downloaded the files, and I have them in Cura. And so here's what it looks like in Cura. Uh, with these settings, we're looking at a print time of a little short of two hours. Now, one of the things to notice, I've slowed this down a little bit because of the wireframe nature of this. Uh, I wanted a, a good quality print. Uh, the other thing I did is I've set support type everywhere because as you can see here, there's, there's a number of holes that will require supports. Now, I am building this at a 0.2 layer height. I am doing this at a 0.8 shell. Uh, and these are all millimeter settings. And I'm going to do this at 50% infill with a top and bottom thickness of 0.8. So hopefully this should, should come out pretty good. Uh, now, one of the things that I did do is I did go into Expert, and I've set fill amount for the supports to be 5%. Don't really need a lot because, again, this is a pretty, a pretty lightweight frame that we're building here. Um, so I want to be able to have it pull off easy without it breaking the uh, small frame segments that you see through here, uh, which could be a problem. Uh, so uh, again, let's uh, hop over to a time lapse, take a look at it, and then we'll see you back at the bench and we'll assemble it on the C-Max 8. See you over there. Okay, so welcome back. We've printed out the uh, the housing. So really nice fit. Very happy with this. It came out nice. I used 5% on the uh, support infills. They popped out with ease. Sliced the Sincura. And so now I've got it mounted with the standard GoPro bracket. And so let's slide it on the quadcopter and see how it works. Uh, get this. Yep, got it slid on. And so here's what it looks like. Um, so very neat. Um, so again, you, we can adjust the angle uh, that, that it uh, records at. So I think this is pretty cool. Um, again, it's kind of hard to see. There, there is pretty good ground clearance uh, with regards to the, the copter. Uh, it seems to be pretty solid. Now I printed this out in PLA, so it's not going to take a lot of heavy hits. Um, probably one of the things I'm going to do is in a future version, I'm going to print this out in uh, the the frame bracket in TPU, red TPU, uh, which will be really, really resilient. And I'll probably do another video and let you guys see how that goes. So um, anyways, for both of these builds, I have to give it a thumbs up. Uh, again, I've got the link, a Thingiverse link below for this. Uh, so if you're interested in printing it out, you can find it real easy. And again, I've got several of these 
GoPro knockoff cameras. Uh, I'll have some links for these. You can get them for, uh, I've gotten some as cheap as uh, under $30 off of Amazon. Uh, so they're a great buy. They're a lightweight camera. Um, and if you crash, you know, you're not, you're not killing, you know, a hundred dollar plus GoPro. So anyways, been very happy with this build. Hopefully you've been too. So if you have, Hey, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Uh, also subscribe to the channel and uh, cause it's got a lot more great stuff coming. If you have any questions, hit me up below. Happy to try answering them. Uh, if you got something you want to see me print out for quadcopter, also let me know below. Uh, again, I've got the X8 SEMA and the x5 so if you got something for that let me know uh maybe in the future i'm also going to build one from the ground up I, I mentioned that maybe 3d printed but we'll see about that uh in the meantime let's go i'm going to go in another video and check this out so we'll see you in the next video cheers